What's going on Spartans? Welcome back. Today we're doing a very highly anticipated video. So we're gonna have some gameplay in the background. I'm gonna show you my clan and I'm gonna tell you guys how to find or make a great successful clan. So as you can see recently we've been doing a lot better on wars. Um, we had a really bad streak but our clan is finally figuring out this war thing and we're finally getting under control. So we're really improving quickly and I expect to see us beating even some really good clans in the next few weeks here. Um, but we're continually winning now, so that's good news. And I'm going to show you some of our war wins and some of our best attacks and all that good stuff. But here's the clan. you got to see how active people are. Um, I wish I could show you at the end of the season. This is Monday morning, guys. Um, it's been 12 hours since the season reset or less. Everyone's been asleep, but we still have people already with donations on the board. And, uh, yeah, so pretty decent there. Everyone will have donations and be badged by the end of the day for sure. But as I said, it's 11 a.m., it's been 11 hours since the season reset, and it is Memorial Day, so people will definitely be active today. But we are doing the best we can. Um, we're actually going to show you guys a few attacks in the background here, hogging it up with some awesome attacks from a few of my guys, including myself at the end. But very important you listen to this entire video because I'm going to do two parts, okay? The first part is I'm going to help you find a good clan right now, and then the second one is if you're trying to make your own clan, I'm going to help you make your own clan better. So... I've had clans for over three years now, and I've been successfully building them and completely doing very well in them for a very long time now, since the beginning of Clash of Clans, basically. So, I have a little bit of experience in this area, and my clans are very loyal, happy, and active, and that's all that really matters. And I'll explain all that in a second, but first things first, do me a favor, guys. If you want to find a good clan, go ahead and comment your clan name and its info in the description below, or in the comments below, excuse me. What I mean by that is... If your name is King Spartans and you have to be level 100 to join uh, with level 20 kings or in level 20 queens, then go ahead and make that a comment below so people can find your clan. And this way people will be able to look through and see which clan fits their needs because we have some town hall 6s, 3s, 10s, all looking for clans here. And uh, I want them to be able to find the right clan. So go ahead and comment your info below for your clan and people will be able to find you. Now the second part is this. What are the top 10 rules for making a good clan. Okay, well, the number one rule is no fighting with clanmates. That's at least my number one rule. I will never allow it. If I ever see anyone fighting, I kick them instantly. Now, number two, every war attack must be used. This is super key, guys. It helps the clan. And even if you lose your attacks, it allows the people to practice. So every attack must be taken seriously. Be a real force. Can't be like all barbarians or all goblins. It has to be a real attack force. And you got to really try and use both attacks. Otherwise, I kick people instantly no matter what. Um, so that's a good rule. Uh, back to the number one rule, actually, when there's no fighting. Reason being is that it causes drama. If ever there's drama, the way you get away from that, guys, is you actually go ahead and just tell people, hey, here's my kick messenger. If ever there's drama, just message me the situation and I'll come deal with it. It's really bad when clanmates start fighting. It's much easier when there's a problem between two guys and uh, the leader comes in and takes care of it. It's, it's a lot less destructive to the clan and a lot less disruptive. So that's the way you handle that, guys. Now, number three, limit number of co-leads to keep clan from being destroyed. For people who are new, uh, when you're trying to make co-leads, guys, I never tell people they could ever get co-lead. It's something that's not like, you don't get it by donations. You get it by loyalty and you get it by proving yourself over time. And most of my co-leads have been with me for two, three years. I mean, I have one that's been with me for a year and a half, uh, but the rest have been with me for over two to three years. Uh, that's crazy, I know, but it's just a trust thing. Honestly, if you have a new clan, I'm sure a lot of people experience this. Clans get destroyed because you make one person a co-leader who's actually not really good at being a co-leader. They get mad, and they kick everybody who's not a co-lead. And the clan is destroyed, then the other co-leaders are mad, and then it just turns into a fight. And even if you can rebuild, is a lot of tension. So, definitely the reason you limit the number of co-leads that you have. Number four, be open and talk plenty. Leaders, this means you. You need to be active. If you want a successful clan, you need to lead by example. The leaders need to be active. So, well, if you're pushing, your leaders need to be the top people in the clan, or at least trying to be. Um, if you're, you know, on a normal daily basis, you need to come talk to your fans or your clan mates or whatever. And that's why I'm so active in my clans. Um, very, very important. It keeps the clan happy. It keeps everyone moving and having fun. Number five, though, 
hold competitions randomly, maybe even on weekends. So for me, I'm able to actually give out gift cards. For example, this season I'm giving out 20 bucks um, to the top people. Top two donators get $10 each. So that's what I do in my clan like every other season or every couple seasons. It really depends on when I want to put money in and give it away. So recently it's been every other season pretty much. But you could do something as simple as like get Elder by, you know, having the best three star with the most loot this weekend. And it could be something like that. Like just make fun competitions up and it keeps the clan active. It keeps the competition going and it just gives people something to do. So if you say, hey, you have 48 hours this weekend from Friday night till Sunday night to, you know, get the best all P.E.K.K.A. raid or all Goblin raid if you're farming, then it could be something really fun for the clan to do. So I would recommend trying that out, guys. It's something that's worked for me in the past. Now that I spend money, it's a little easier, but you can definitely do it with just fun competitions. Number six, only leaders or co-leaders can kick people. This is a really good rule, guys. And the reason being is that if you trust your co-leaders as much as I do, then you know they're on the same page as you and they probably won't kick people without even asking you. But if they do, it's because they know what's going on. So my basic rule is unless someone is swearing and cussing up a storm, being racist and completely, you know, belligerent, um, don't kick them unless you can help it. So if they're being belligerent and just being ridiculous, kick them instantly. Um, but obviously if there's something going on where you don't know what the issue is, I tell all my clanmates if they ever see issues, uh, they just all screenshot stuff and send it to my kick. So I see the entire conversation and then I can judge for myself what to do. Um, same thing with the co leaders. They get the same kick messages. So they definitely know what's going on and they can make the judgment as well as I can. Um, but that really limits fighting. Like you don't have an elder just randomly kicking people out cause they don't like them. And that's, you know, it just causes drama if you have elders doing stuff like that. So I limit it to co-leaders and leaders being able to kick. And I'm honestly the one that kicks 90% of people. All right, so number seven, have a minimum donation requirement, guys. If you're not saying you have to be a minimum amount of activeness, people are going to get away with not playing. So I kick people if it's under 500 donations. That's pretty low, but if you don't hit 500, you're kicked. Honestly, if you're not doing 1,000 a season, though, you're going to get kicked eventually just because I'm going to get annoyed. So my clan really should be minimum 1,000 a season, but that's besides the point. Uh, set your requirement and stick to it guys if you have to kick people you have to kick people that's just the way you build a good clan though um, it takes time to find the right people and I'm still finding new people because of the war uh, I had to kick a lot of people out we're not good at war or we're not trying or didn't want to do war um, a lot of longtime members unfortunately made me really sad but you got to do what you got to do in order to make the clan more successful and you know last longer so number eight promote high number of requests as long as donations are solid also so I honestly do not limit the number of requests you can have. So you could have 3,000 requests and 1,000 donations, and I'm completely fine with that as long as those donations are 1,000. Um, obviously, you don't want people having zero donations and 1,000 requests. That's ridiculous. It's unacceptable. But you can have a ton of requests because it just allows other people to actually donate more. Number nine, have a push and farm schedule. Mines push every two months for two weeks. So every two months, we push for two weeks straight. And then we end our push and we don't push for two more months. So it gives people two months to farm and then you get two weeks of pushing and so on. And in the meantime, when you're farming, you do whatever you want, obviously. Uh, some people push the entire time. Uh, most people don't, though. And then number 10, last but not least, this is very important, clan war strategy system. So I'm actually going to make a whole video on this. So I'm not going to go very in depth. But you need to go ahead and have a system where people will attack certain numbers uh, for a good reason. Um, and I'll go over that in a whole video. It's a very complicated subject. But hopefully you enjoyed this. Click the eye in the right-hand corner up above. And if this helped you find a clan, make sure you like the video. Comment below that it helped you find a clan. And don't forget to add your clan in the, below, so, ah, in the comments below so that people can find you. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.